Jim Barmy, if you've been following me, then you know about futures trading and you know exactly how this works. If you've been following me and you've been listening to the analysis, you've been making out like an absolute bandit. And for that, you are absolutely welcome. If you're just coming into the channel, learning about futures trading, we're going to ask the question today, can we get to a penny? But the most important thing is how to make money on SHIB right now, like everybody else is doing. And uh, we're going to kick this off with a chart analysis real quick. I'm going to zoom you in, let you look at this, see it for itself. There is so much opportunity to make money on SHIB right now. And I'm not telling you to sell your bag. You hold your bag. That's what you do. You hodl. But you, you also have to at least consider, uh, in the meantime, making a profitable venture. First of all, uh, you got this move down here, and then you got a move up here. Now, what you're looking at right here, value area low. When you get into a value area low, this is the time for you to buy a crypto and go long. If you're doing any trading, MEXE down in the, the description below, uh, Gate.io or Fairdesk, your choice, whichever one, but MEXE uh, is very easy to use. And they're all easy, by the way. Uh, but you get the move down here. And I want to show, if you're doing, let's call it 20x leverage, which is basically what you're doing on these meme coins right now. Uh, that's a 3% move that you're getting right there. 3% times 20 means 60%. So if you put $1,000 in and you did this right, then guess what you made? You made $600 on this move. Then what did you do? Uh, because you came to your point of control, uh, you held tight and you waited for a move, Okay. Then it came back down and it did the same thing again. So what did you do? You went long again. And what did it do? It came back up here and you got 60% more. This, by the way, is in the last 36 hours. Then what happened is you waited patiently and it came down again. And then what happened? It started to run. And then it wicked all the way through your point of control. And you took your profit right up here. So what was that move? Well, that move was, uh, let's go with 4.7%, which means that on a 20X, you basically got a 100% gain off of that. So in the course of this day, you took $1,000 and you turned it into, uh, I, I want to say, $2,200 more. So $3,200 total. Uh, then what did you do? Then it came back down to the point of control. So you waited patiently and now it ran up into the value area high. And what did you do? You shorted it and you shorted it down right now and you're waiting for it to play out because it's coming back down here because these are predictive range. They're very easy if you just pay attention to the signals and to the signs. Now, the other thing, you won't be right 100% of the time. Uh, if you did this with $100 and you had $320, if you played it perfectly, most people don't play it perfectly, but you could have made $200 or at least another $100 if you were just doing this once or twice. So the possibility always exists. Now, let me also point out, there are breakdowns. For example, this broke down. Now, if you had listened to me and you got up here and you went uh, short right here, you took the money at the point of control, and just so you guys can see what, what's going on over here, uh, you take the money here and go down the point of control, then you made profit, right? Then it pumps back up, then it gives, a, gives you a fake out, then it comes up here, and then that's probably where you're going to come back into the market, where you're going to come back into it, right? And then it comes down here, and you're going to take profit here again, then you get another pump, and you get that, that next pump, and it only takes you up here. So possible that you miss this move, but this was a significant move to the downside, or if you took this and you just stayed short because you thought the market was coming down and you just played this perfectly, then you're looking at, again, 20x leverage. This move right here was 9.9%. That's a 200% move. There's so much money to be made in cryptocurrency right now through longing and shorting these projects that it's just insane. Now, I hope that that's what you're doing. I hope that you're making money while the market is kind of simmering and cooking here. But uh, let's also go over here and point out that it's not just SHIB where you make the money. You had a great opportunity coming down into this range. And you should be sitting on this, by the way. Uh, it came down, broke down all the way to 78 cents right here, 79 cents, call it. If you got into this position, then you are probably still holding on to it because you're waiting for the pump to finish, but it's 8% right now as the increase. So that means you're up about 160% on your original investment. This is the kind of life-changing money that you are looking to make constantly. And the question is, are you actually doing it? Well, uh, to hear a bunch of uh, uh, rookies, they're going to tell you, no, you got to just hold on and not do anything. And that's true. The, you, you should have a bag where you just hold on, right? You, you should. But at the end of the day, here's what matters. 
there's day trading opportunities and there's money to be made. Again, the MEXC description is in the link down below. Fairdesk is down below. If you want to do it on a decentralized exchange, I also have a link to Ruby Dex down here. And you can use Ruby Dex to set limit orders, which is the only decentralized exchange in the United States currently that allows you to set limit orders. So uh, there's plenty of opportunity for you to make money. Now, the question is, uh, can you make a whole lot of money? And the answer is obviously yes, you can. Uh, when you break this down into a daily uh, sort of thing here. Uh, one, one final thing, daily transactions are up to 202,000. Now we're going to start seeing, this is about 3x from where when we started talking about, we were getting a little annoyed by the the, the SHIB burns. Uh, well, the, the burns are about to kick it up a notch. Uh, 203,000, we're not going to check out the burns because we're going to do that on the live stream a little bit later on today, but uh, there's a lot going on over here. Uh, you, you just got to pay attention to the signals. Now, uh, I, I I just want to say this. If you are looking for trading opportunities, find your predictive ranges, figure out where your value area high and your value area low is, and then make your moves based upon that. Now, uh, when you see these things start to break down and you start to see these moves down here uh, and you're shorting, then great. Uh, but if you see a reversal in the trend pattern on Vu Manchu or if you're using Cypher B, uh, if you're using some something with Lux Algo, it doesn't really matter. As long as you're looking at the RSI and you're checking the trends, which we'll get into later, you'll be able to make money. Very, very, very simple. Now, uh, can we get to a penny becomes the next question. And the answer to that is, yeah, we absolutely can. Because there's 203,000 daily transactions. Now, it was impossible for that to happen when we had 80,000 transactions, there was no way that, that was going to happen. But we're in a bear market with not a lot of volume happening. And we have 203,000 transactions and 1.148 million wallet addresses. Now, that's not the answer, but that fixes a lot of the short term sentiment that was real nervous about what was going on in the last little while. So I would be watching this with with bated breath, looking for 500,000 daily transactions and, and pretty soon maybe we see a million daily transactions and when that happens then you're going to see this gas tracker right here the GUI is going to start to move up and the reason for that is because you're already at 34.4 percent network utilization when the when the network starts to get a little more congested with maybe double the transactions and you get to about 50 percent 60 percent when you start to get into those higher ranges of network utilization then you're going to slow down the network just a little bit you're going to need more validators which means you're going to have more staked bone it all works itself out. And then guess what happens? You burn just way more. So it's all starting to happen. It's taking a little longer than everybody expected. We did have this pie in the sky thing where we thought that it was going to happen. But listen, uh, if we can burn a significant amount of the supply, then a penny is suddenly so real. I'm not going to do the math for you because uh, it really takes a lot of variables. And we're in a bear market. But the answer to can we hit a penny? Yeah, it, it's really starting to look like this is um, this is going to work. It's going to take a while, but it is going to work. So if you're holding on to your bag, hold on to it for dear life because SHIB, when this market starts to flip, SHIB is going to go on the ride of a lifetime. This is not financial advice. My name is Blaze. I'm always ready. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, these are the trades that I am making not the trades that you should be making. But uh, if you like the content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, the bell to be notified of future content, and leave a comment down below. And we'll talk to you again very soon.